Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching the video today. My name is Gary from WorldStart.com and uh, today I want to introduce somebody new. Uh, this is Scott. He is our new tech support person and uh, if you have talked to tech support from WorldStart here in the last I don't know, a month or so, you've probably spoken to Scott. Uh, he's here to help with the videos when Steve's not available, so everyone, say hi to Scott. Hello, everybody. Uh, sure I've spoke to you before. I uh, look forward to speaking with you even further. Um, we're going to go ahead and give you a computer tip today. All right. Um, let's start out here. Um, the, the tip we're going to do today is setting up classic menus in Windows Vista and Windows 7. Now, if you've used Windows XP or anything older, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. The file, edit, view, menus up at the top, those have disappeared in Windows Vista and Windows 7. Uh, Microsoft took them away, they decided uh, maybe they're not as important. I don't know, I, I, I think they're important. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you today how to get those to come back for good on your computer. So let's go ahead and turn to the computer now and we'll take a look. Okay, so now here we are on the desktop. What we're going to do is navigate from your start menu. Um, go to any of your folders up here. Um, most likely you're going to want to go to your folder. Um, from here what you want to do is find the Organize tab up here on the left hand side. Go down to Layout and over here you have the option to click on the menu bar. And then you have all of your files and folders up here. Um, if you want to you know, disable it, you'll do the same thing just backwards. Go to Organize, Layout, click your menu bar and it disappears. There is also a shortcut way, but it'll only temporarily put the file menu at the top. All you need to do is press the Alt key on your keyboard and it'll appear. Want to get it to disappear? Hit the Alt key again and it'll go away. Um, but to permanently actually get those file menus, what you'll need to do is go to the layout in your organized menu. All right, so there you have it. That's how to set up your classic menus in Windows Vista and Windows 7. It's uh, pretty simple to do and I tell you, it's going to help you a lot if you've ever been frustrated about those menus not being there. And uh, if you like this tip and, and you'd like to receive further tips from us, or if you're not signed up for the newsletter, please uh, visit our website at www.worldstart.com. Um, you can sign up for the, the tips that we send out daily there. Um, if you have any further questions or, or anything as far as you want to see a tip on it, you can also visit our website at www.worldstart.com forward slash ask, and uh, maybe you'll see that tip on there. Thanks for watching today.